Hey everybody, so today we're going to be doing the long-awaited uh, 2000 Forerunner HID retrofit installation. Um, so please stick around uh, and check out the video and I'll see you there. Hey everybody, so today I just want to do a, a short little video. Um, I want to know what you guys would want as my subscribers. Um, I was thinking on doing the uh, the the 2000 Toyota 4Runner video um, for the HID retrofit. I was thinking on doing a either it, it in pieces, you know, part one, part two, part three, or part four or um, doing it all as one upload, you know, one hour or whatever it is, um, the entire video. I would like to know what you guys think. Would you guys rather it be the entire video in one video or would you rather see it in parts? Um, please let me know. Um, if I get any responses on this video, you know, a majority of you say you wanna see it in parts, then I will start rendering the video and editing it and everything, and I will upload it um, soon. Um, majority of it's already done, so all I gotta do is render it and edit it and everything else, but I would like to know what your guys' thoughts are. What would you like to see? Would you like to see it in, you know, 20 minute increments, or, you know, you know 15 minute increments, or a 15 and a 20, you know, 35 minutes or so, and then go to the next video, would you like to see it in parts? Would you like to see it as one whole entire video as a collective? You know, let me know. Please leave comments down below and tell me what you think. Um, please also like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for uh, so much for watching and thank you to all the subscribers that watch my channel. I do appreciate it. And um, hit the bell notification icon if you'd like to see future videos. Uh, you know, leave me a comment, yeah, tell me how I'm doing, or if, if I did something wrong, or something on any video, you know, I don't mind the constructive criticism, you know, I got into a conversation with Mr. Subaru, um, I made a call-out video for him, he sent me the link to his video, and there's a lot of things that he showed on his video that was more in-depth than mine, and yeah, some of the things that I stated were correct they were just not correct in certain senses uh, I was talking about the double tang mechanical switch at the back I did not mention because I didn't know at the time I got most of my information from DeWalt and they didn't explain to me that the extra pin actually shorts out the the, the circuit which tells it that it's a 60 volt battery there's actually two safeties on the DeWalt batteries, there's the mechanical switch and the electronic switch when you plug in the tool. Um, so I apologize to Mr. Subaru 1387. You know, he was very nice. Um, I will be linking uh, his video in my next video about the DeWalt because I'm gonna correct what I said wrong. I will be making a DeWalt video about that. So please stay tuned for that video. Uh, please stay tuned for that next video. Um, the camera cut out for some reason. Um, and um, I will upload that DeWalt video as soon as I can. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon. Leave me comments. Um, ask questions. And uh, go check out my Amazon affiliate links. And I'll see you guys on the next one.